<laughs> but do you get goosebumps cool. and your nipples get hard? <laughs> I don't know. Do you get goosebumps and does your nipples go? Uh, my, my nipples are hard and I do have goosebumps. <laughs> this uh, wine is serious. All because of the rosé. That is some farm fresh goodness right there. <laughs> oh, it's fermented. Oh, man. Farm to table. <laughs> farm to nipples. <laughs> I said it's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> aphrodisiac. <laughs> It's a good thing they don't make a chicken flavored line wine. Ugh. You might Ugh. get goosebumps and get your pecker hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up, Sally. You got the chicken skin and a boner. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call it the old cock juice. <laughs> I did have um, some chicken, what, some chicken quinoa, quinoa tonight quinoa. that was cooked in chicken broth. Did you sit good. down with the Okinawans and have some quinoa? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So you had quinoa and pizza. Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you I gotta say, hey man, if I order pizza, will y'all eat it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and brownies. I, I was really hungry. <laughs> yeah, the quinoa really didn't hit the spot. <laughs> you don't quinoa, say. You don't quinoa, say. asparagus. And, uh, damn, what was the other thing we yeah, had? Yeah, double vegetables? Asparagus. Oh, I don't know if quinoa is a vegetable. It's more like a, a rice. Oh, it was shrimp. A rice. We had a rice. <laughs> a rice. A rice. <laughs> we had quinoa, asparagus, and shrimp for dinner. So, wow. yeah, I had, What like, kind of three. fucking dinner is that? <laughs> well, I, exactly. Somebody's That's why watching. I had three slices of pizza and a brownie. Somebody's been watching too much Food Network. I know. Oh, are they standing in line there going three, to check out? All three of those are sides. <laughs> you had three Shrimps and appetizers. That's yeah, why you had I three wasn't sides. fucking full. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the fucking dishes from that. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? Uh, I've only had quinoa like two times, and it was kind of like styrofoam pellets. Is how the best I could. Yeah, I it's like a, a dente. <laughs> yeah, it's it's presidente. Like, the texture's a little different. Not my el dente. But it tastes uh, a lot better than in, when you cook it in chicken yeah. broth or whatever that yeah. is. Yeah, you give it some flavor. To, or stock, uh, chicken stock. Chicken stock. You cook it in that it's compared to water because water is just stock bland market. as fuck. Speaking of chicken stock or in beef broth, there must have been a sale on it. I got like 10 things of it at my house. Oh, yeah, there was. Every, yeah, because evidently my old lady, she decided that every time she did a grocery order, she would get beef broth, and we got 10 of them. The fuck you, you use that much beef broth? That's what I said. <laughs> get, the chicken, get the chicken stock and some quinoa, man. Then uh, going up north where it's hot and you drink it. No, oh, uh, I had to do that one time. I had a stomach procedure. I had to do a complete colon cleanse for two days. Wow. And uh, that's all I could eat was uh, like uh, probably about that much of chicken broth and beef broth for two when days see, like, and jello. That's when it. you watch like uh, football games like the Green Bay Packers or something like that when it's like frigid temperatures. You have your Gatorade cooler, yeah. like Gatorade water, then the one next cooler? to it that has uh, broth in it. It's labeled like chicken broth. What? Yeah, I guess. Is it like soup? I guess. I guess it helps during the cold weather games. So they can't get a coffee or something? They got to settle know. for chicken? <laughs> hey, man, you got any... Uh, coffee will dehydrate your ass, though, man. Will it? It'll fuck you up. Will it? Let pay out there pooping yeah. their pants. I drink coffee when I roll sometimes, and man, I'm fucking <laughs> ready for it. <laughs> 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 I am not... I have farted on a motherfucker. Oh. I've done it a couple times, and I, I can't help but laugh. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even play it off like I didn't do it. I just fucking like... <laughs> I'm sorry. As soon as it happened, I be tapping. No, nah, pop out. Yeah. Hey, that's <laughs> all oh, oh. No, nah, you can't get away from me. I got oh. you locked up. <laughs> this shit gets trapped in your shorts too. So when you're rolling around, it's going everywhere yeah. with you. Dude, imagine if you was rolling somebody and they actually like turded shit. their pants. Oh, oh, okay. Buddy. So I did roll with one guy, and it I happened. I like tossed him or something, and he he just like, hey, I gotta go. <laughs> like, he <went> straight, <laughs> like he went straight. He's like, I gotta take a shit. A little butt oh. nugget. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah, get a yeah. little nug out. There's some serious pressure that goes on. Well, yeah, bad. there's a lot of straining. Like that cannot be good for like hemorrhoids. Like oh, no. you would think that all that straining would just cause wow. issues. Stop yeah. clenching. Yeah, don't clench so much. Clench and strain. Yeah. Stop resisting it. Just let it. Yeah, just you have to. Just you, take it. No, you, you have to <laughs> clench because you got to be prepared for the finger around the back move. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> you got to be careful. You, yeah. You, the old finger in the bum will get you. You, you. you might get the come hither. <laughs> oh, my God. Like the fish hook? <laughs> the fish hook? Oh, rusty, rusty fish hook. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get caught sucking air. <laughs> uh, 
Get like a dang whale coming up for air or a dolphin. <laughs> Blow hole. <laughs> That's gross. That is gross. Yeah, thinking about your behind like a dolphin hole. Mm. Yeah, we were talking about how you had to go through like some stomach pain or something. Yeah, yeah. I used to, I always just used to have a lot of issues. Yep. It's better now. I was I used to have a lot of issues too when I drank every day. Yeah, mine wasn't from drinking. Mine was just the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it fucking it fucked my stomach up. Mm-hmm. Like, I never drank so- every I'm day. I'm soft as fuck now. You are. Well, mm. co- <laughs> college. I went hard for a little bit in college. And coming out of college, we went on a little spree for a we while. We were on a bar spree for a while, yeah. It was like a 10-year bar spree. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah. Not, quite. Uh, Not quite. How, uh, how long it, have you been out of college? I've been out for... I've been out for 11 years. Yeah. So it was a six-year bar spree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It stopped five years ago when you had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the bar thing... I slowed down whenever <laughs> I got a kid. Yeah. I think Having no, no. a kid won't change me. <laughs> I even tried to go a little bit when I first had her, and then I realized hangovers are not fun. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that I have a stomach issue because Stop of Stop waking up so early. I feel like the bar scene days ended whenever we all got our own places. Mm. And we weren't living at home anymore. Mm. No, no, I still went to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> I still went to the bar quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Well, maybe for me because I, I was already at a home forever. before I started hanging. Yeah, out you with just guys. weren't there. Yeah, you weren't really. there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have been Still there, not there for that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Wish I could have been there for that. Yeah. Name that artist. I don't know right now, man. Come know. on, it's John Anderson. Okay, oh. Mr. Seminole, Seminole Wind himself. Yeah. God, Seminole Wind. Or Mr. Swangin'. Swangin'. Jeez. Have you had some of the brownie yet, Ross? I have, and I'm having more. Good. You just reach in there with your finger and treat it like an old crusty butthole. Ugh. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's getting chocolate all over his face. All over mm. his fingers. He ain't mm. got nothing to wipe it off on either. My dog. <laughs> your dog. Yeah, so the dinner wasn't enough, so we had to get a pizza and brownie. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So John's dinner A couple wasn't bottles enough. of wine and some pizza and brownie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was pretty happy because when I left the house, I had, like, a real small bowl of leftover chili. And Chili sounds like good on a cold four night. chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and then I took a bite of something else. I'm like, huh, I don't remember her cooking that this week. And I took a couple bites of it. I'm like, I don't know how long this has been <laughs> in here. Like noodles and hamburger and sauce. And I'm Throw like, it out. shit on the shingle. I don't think it, this should be tasting like uh, Worcestershire sauce. When I look in the fridge and I grab a container of food and then I look at it and I don't remember when it, it was cooked, I don't touch it. Well, I ain't been home all week, so like, she could have cooked it. This well, when you I cooked for one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have touched it. Fun fact, when you cook for one, you know when it's been there. And you only cook right. for one, so you only have in there what you need to eat. Yeah. Right. Well, normally, like, I help, like, it's package up It's easy to lose track of days, though. It is. You almost got to get a marker and write on it these days. Especially if they're the you same. You do that with your oil filters. Or, yeah, I do, actually. I do. I, I, I write down the mileage and the date. Yep. 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 That way, if I lose my little card, it's right there on the and filter. It's always better for the next me. guy, too, if you end up selling that vehicle. The next guy knows. Uh, no, there ain't, there ain't gonna be a next guy. <laughs> He's a one man guy. Yeah, this bitch is gonna <laughs> die with me. That's <laughs> right. It's going down. I don't want a car payment. Actually, I need to change the oil in my car. Me too. I want to be buried in my truck. I've <laughs> had <laughs> the I've had the oil and filter for both of my vehicles for about three months now. <laughs> I haven't changed it. Hey, I'm around f- five or six thousand miles on my oil right now. That might be something to do, man. You can bury people in their cars. That's a big ass hole. <laughs> Well, wasn't old Mr. Am- not Amazon, but Elon Musk guy? Didn't he want to be married on Mars? Somebody was saying. I don't know. Yeah, he wants. He's like eight years to get there. I'm pretty sure, like he wants his his body taken to oh, Mars and buried. buried. On Mars. Oh, he said married on oh, Mars. Oh, buried. He must be buried. Say, so if you get married on Mars, you know, like they say, you should live with the person before you marry him. You You're live with him for eight you years on a fucking honest. rocket ship. Yeah. Head it to. <laughs> if you still like each other after yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Go Remember. Ahead. Wasn't there a movie, it was called Rocket Man, where they were going to Mars, and the guy was a, a screw-up, right? There was also a Rocket Man movie and about freaking... Uh, yeah, but they all had to get in this, like, John. sleeping chamber, because they could sleep for eight years to get there. Well, somehow, he screwed up and didn't get in the chamber on time, so he was awake for eight years, and everybody... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> by himself. <laughs> they all wake up and find, figure out that he done ate all the food rations. They have no food to get back home. <laughs> wow. Oh, motherfucker. Yep. They you got, got the movie Martian. 
I have yeah, not yeah. seen that. Yeah, grow some potatoes. Martian he is strange oh, yeah. on Mars. Yeah, that was Matt that was Damon, a good movie. Right? Yeah, that was Matt Damon. I learned I learned some shit on that one. Yeah, he can grow potatoes on Mars. They just left his ass there. Yeah, they thought he was dead and like, we'll see ya. What a jerk off. Yeah. Fucking Lloyd Christmas. Lloyd Christmas. Was uh, the head of NASA. Or what's his name? Was he? That, uh he was connected. No, Harry. Sorry, Harry was the I was yeah. gonna say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well he was also uh what the head um Matt Damon was the guy where they were stuck to each other. And they were twins. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Stuck? I don't know. I don't Together? Know. I don't know. Stuck on you? Stuck on you? Maybe. Stuck on me? Something like that, maybe? You stuck on me, I stuck on you. <laughs> you fuck on me! Hiya! <laughs> 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 mm. uh, yeah, we haven't been here like in two weeks. Yeah, we, uh, it's been two weeks. I know we took last week off yeah. for sure. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um, the week it's before. It's been a little bit. We were here the, I think we were here the week before. Yeah, we all had a one week yeah. absent. I don't think anything's happened in that two weeks. We had some good laughs before the show, that's for sure. Yeah. We did? Mm-hmm. I think so. I don't remember. I went to my first hockey game. You did? How'd that go? Went to my first hockey game. Yeah, it went pretty good. I had a great time, man. I've never been. Now I can say I've been to about all the, the Tampa Bay sports stuff there is to do. It was on the bucket list of things. It's, it was the best live sport you can go to, wasn't it? Well, the game was good. I will say, like, yeah. you, we we didn't have to worry about sweating. We I wore jeans and a hoodie and froze it's, my it's ass off. It's probably the 60s in there. Yeah. Oh, no, it was everybody 30. No. Had to have been. <laughs> <laughs> the temperature of the arena does not keep the ice frozen. The ice yeah. itself keeps the ice frozen. No, the ice would definitely melt if it was below or nope. above 32 degrees. Under the ice keeps it frozen. No. Fun fact, how, do, how thick do you think that ice is? About a 16th. Or an eighth. It's very thin. Yeah, it's cool. very thin. You're, you're close. One inch. Yeah, it's just less than a quarter of an inch. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's, yeah. The thinner the ice, the faster it is. You'd think it's like two inches thick and all that. No. Nah. It's barely thick enough for them to go on it. Yep. 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 I learned that when I was in Canada. Canada, eh? But it was a great, a great experience, wasn't it? Was Action packed from the start to finish, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was great. Everything was great except for the... The beer prices? Well, at the end of the first period, we were freezing. So we're like, we're going to go down here to the Dunkin' Donuts they got. Fun fact. They don't have donuts at the Dunkin' Donuts at what? the ending game. Yeah, they got Munchkins, but they don't have donuts. And then you can only get black coffee, a pretzel, or popcorn at the Dunkin' Donuts in the game. They don't have Kramer. Negative. So That's I drank. I, Dunkin donuts. I drank my first black coffee, and Your I was last black coffee. I hope. I pray. Put breathing in his face. It. Uh, but after you pay six fifty for a coffee, you're going to drink it, <laughs> especially right. a black coffee. Right. I'm going to go find a restaurant or yeah. a place that sells, like, chocolate milk or milk or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. But no, it was a good time. We set up in, like, the 300 section. They oh, yeah, a you bad see seat everything. In the house. No, no. Yeah, uh, to me, the higher you go, the the more you see, the better you see. Yeah. You're up, you're yeah. up there yeah. by the light. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Went, <laughs> that was so high, man. You wouldn't believe what I saw. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hit up a bowling alley beforehand. It was called Splitsville. Splitsville, yeah, right yeah. around the corner of the channel. Uh, now it's Sparksman's Wharf. It's not channel side anymore. Oh, really? What's yeah. a Sparksman's Wharf? I don't know, but that's I what was they like, used to call someone that, a dwarf. So that's like where the, the Hooters <laughs> used to be. Is that like the Devil's Bowl? Did you notice the Hooters was gone? I did. Yeah. Well, that was the, I had a lot of memories in that. Yeah, we went We went there right before they closed it. Yeah. Why? That, they made me closed? dance like a chicken. Because they redid that whole area. They tore it down so and opened the place. Where's the new Hooters? There is no Hooters down there. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. That's the reason why I go there. What happened to all those girls that were employed. <laughs> yeah, they found another fine establishment to go work for, I guess. Fine. <laughs> they probably went a little further down to Adamo. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. But no, it was a good time, man. Yeah. We got some nachos and got the... Uh, $16 beers. No, they had a My Boy Blue beer, which I think... Did I send y'all a picture of that? Yeah. It was called My Boy Blue. And you may have. It was a blueberry wheat ale. Oh, man. And it was quite delicious. But I got it because I'm like, you're my boy, Blue! <laughs> <laughs> oh my boy. For the nostalgia. For the nostalgic purpose. But um yeah, I would I would I, I, it's kind of a sweeter beer. You only want to drink it like once like a yeah. dessert beer. If I have it yeah, it's a it's a good dessert beer. It would go with a a uh, good cheesecake or something. If or you, were you the thunder? Cuz they tell you to be <clears throat> the thunder. Cuz the lightning is up there with you. They they feel the vibration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in your nipples. <laughs> hey, I, we did have a true fan sitting directly behind us. Like, whenever they would start a chant, this dude was on it. I turned around, and it was Harry fucking Potter himself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he, He's he, fucking he, letting out spells and he shit. Was. <laughs> yep. Yep. He, he, he was, like, in the game, like, for real. It looked like him and maybe his dad, and they're like, 
Oh, come on. Like, you know. Do you have a white owl with him? <laughs> Maybe. If you ride a broom <laughs> to his seat. He had glasses. Did you see the big organ there? Yeah, the big orgy. <laughs> yeah, the it was organ. on the top deck. Yeah. The, the big organ. It was the Coors Light orgy deck. Yeah, that's right. I, that's where I always go when I go to the games. The orgy deck. <laughs> the orgy deck. <laughs> oh yeah. I buy the cheapest ticket and hang out the orgy deck the whole time. Yeah. Right underneath the giant organ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like the tune from the oh, organ? Oh yeah. Huh? You just feel the giant organ breathing down the back of your neck. <laughs> yeah. No, like I, that part was all cool. Like it was an experience. It was entertaining. Like even if you didn't like, I was surprised myself. Like. I don't think I know shit about hockey, right? And they start playing, and actually, what happened? I'm like, high stick. And like, offsides. Offsides. Icing. Icing. And I'm like, how do I know the rules? <laughs> video game. <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? Because <laughs> you played the goddamn video no. game. Yeah. You got your ass ripped by me at John's house in the video game. Hey, there was. Icing? There... What the fuck is icing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what you put on a cupcake, yeah. bitch. Yeah. I, oh. like <laughs> I like icing. Like I love icing. <laughs> where? Where? <laughs> but no, I started getting. So far into it to the point to where I had, like, this vendetta against number 24 for the Dallas Stars. Oh, fuck that guy. I was going to fuck him up. Because like, <laughs> like, he was being dirty and, like, starting shit. And I'm yeah. like, fuck that guy. Like, come on, man. Somebody get him. Well, somebody finally got him with a stick right yeah! in the face. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what you get right in a kisser, you asshole. Yeah, you're an asshole. You get an asshole move. Yeah. That's worth a two-minute penalty. But if it draws blood, it's a four-minute penalty. Oh, fuck. Oh. Draw yeah. blood. Draw high blood. Sti- high sticking. A normal high oh. sticking. Bam to the face. Man. Two minutes. If he starts bleeding, four minutes. It's a double minor. Yeah. Well, that was a cool part. There was almost there was almost three fights. They turned into like everybody grabbed a guy and they all just kind of like locked they up. Called? For cuckles or kerfuckles? Kerf- yeah. Kerfuffles? It was kind of a hugging Bunch match. Of cucks. Yeah. It was kind of a hugging match. Yeah. A couple people lost some helmets and they're like, you want to fight? No, well, you want to fight? Me neither. All right. Then they had the giant gloves. So they jab each other in the fucking face. Mm, like, yeah. uh, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Yeah. You know it's serious when they drop the gloves. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you know one guy's a bitch and one guy drops a glove and the other one skates away. Oh, you little <laughs> pussy. Yeah. yeah. Do you get a penalty for dropping the gloves and they walk away? Uh, you can for uh, I would taunt his uh, ass. On sportsman, like, like you or roughing. Ass. Yeah, mm. if you do something to the guy he doesn't do anything back, you can get a roughing. Why well, don't if you just take a stick and whack the fuck out of somebody? That's a slashing. <laughs> like, you hit him as hard slash, as you can, like, like a fucking grand slam right uh, to the side actually, of the dome. there's guys that have had charges pressed against them for doing that. Really? Mm-hmm. Hockey players have had charges pressed against them for assaulting guys with sticks, doing something outside of, like, the game stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Wow. So if I take my cleat off in a football game and, like, slap somebody with it, they can get, they can yeah. get assault oh, yeah. me for that? Oh, yeah. Wow. Helmet, helmet. If you smack someone with a helmet, they yeah. can really press charges. Mason Rudolph should have pressed charges. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he could have. But he probably said something racist. Yes. <laughs> probably did. Probably. You idiot. And he was a dipshit for starting a fucking fight with the biggest dude yeah, on the field. Yeah, why would you yeah. fuck with that guy? That could kill you. You're not in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Like, now is not the time. Now is not the time. <laughs> You're fucking with the wrong guy. Yes. Yeah. And Roll you look on. you look like a dipshit the whole time. Yeah, you know, he you legit- started shit, got your ass beat, and then you played the victim. Yeah. Exactly. You got beat with your own helmet, right? Yeah. Is that the yeah. guy? You never get assaulted by, with your own weapon. Yeah. <laughs> you did. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. Idiots. But no, it's a great time. Glad I did it. I'll do it again. Yeah. And But uh, you don't have to be a fan of either team to go to no, a hockey game and enjoy it. No, like I got into it because like the, the other team was winning. They scored in the first period. So then Lightning were playing from behind. Back. Yeah. When they finally scored late, like second period. So it was tie-tie. And then, like, the intensity of that third period picked mm-hmm. up. And it's like, all right, boys, this is where the money hits the fan right now. Yeah. And they got to going. And then they finally got the, the game-winning goal. And then the last minute, the other team pulled the goalie. And then Lightning should have scored twice. Yeah. But the score wasn't indicative of how close it was. And it's awesome. Like, when one, team's attacking, yeah, like what? when one team's attacking. When one team's attacking the other team's uh, offensive zone. Yeah. But the other team can't get the puck out, so they're in yeah. there for like multiple minutes yeah. just freaking. Or, and the other team is fucking gassed. Yeah. But they can't substitute because the bench is on the far end of the ice. Yeah. Or one team's on the power play and the other's mm-hmm. like working their ass off. Yep. It's like five on four or five on three. Put yeah. the pressure on. And you keep see, it on. I like even, a, I, even though it's after 20 seconds or 30 seconds, yeah. those guys are gassed because an average shift in hockey is yeah. no more than 30 seconds. Imagine them girls that get the five on ones. Yeah. yeah. Like they're gassed. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Imagine More power that. to him. Sorry. Mm-hmm. She was on. She was uh, short-handed, <laughs> and those guys are on the power play. <laughs> <laughs> Slashing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Icing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. High sticking. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Look, they're all walking around high. What it sucks is on, on icing, the team, the people who are I, who did the icing, <laughs> are not able to substitute. Ooh. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. So Only they got to stay. Yeah. So you got to stay after so you the, do the penalty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then you have a face off. <laughs> after the face icing, off, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. That can be difficult. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Good old hockey talk. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how Honky Tonks, I love Honky Tonks, <laughs> yeah. man. They got little bricks and Good old Hockey Talk. Honky Talk. Hockey Talk, Tennessee. They have a team, Nashville. Yeah, the, the Predators, Predators right? yeah. That's uh, old Carrie's underwear. Um, oh, yeah. Her old man. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she's married a guy with no teeth. Mike that was Fisher. My problem. Oh, he has fake teeth. Yeah, that's what I'm they saying. Take, they take him out for the hockey game. Yeah, he's got, he's got some. He's a gummer. Yeah, he's a gummer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gummer, man. man. Mike Fisher. Oh, he retired. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I would too after all my teeth got knocked out. Yeah. I would too if I married Carrie Underwear. Oh, yeah, she's uh, <laughs> making enough to, you know, support yeah. your retirement. <laughs> Good yeah. for that guy. Yeah, what the like, fuck? That was a smart business yep. decision. On I ain't part. got no teeth and you got Carrie Underwood. Yeah. <laughs> you married up and then yet you were able to quit your job and stay, <laughs> be a stay a, ho- stay a home husband. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How did you do that? Oh. Bite you? No, almost. Oh. He's trying. He's getting, he's getting rambunctious. He's getting rambunctious. Yep. Wound up. We had a birthday party for Tori. Yeah. We did. Number five. Bouncy house in the house. In, in the, the house, house. On the bouncy yeah. house. That's it was cool. A, it was a wet day. Yeah. So it was a wet. small bouncy house. But it, was, it was dry by then. It was just windy as shit. Yeah. yeah could have, you could have flown away. I've seen people in those bouncy houses awesome. like go for a ride. Like, you could have oh, yeah. yeah. been trending. Could have been. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't have like been. Reason to be the kids would have been. That'd be cool. No. No. I'd be, I'd be uh, in trouble. Did you contain yourself, Frost, or did you still pick a fight with a now five-year-old? I told her I hated her. She still hated me. Well, feelings are mutual. Okay, yeah. then. Yeah, I mean. Happy think, birthday. You had, what, like, five or six beers? Six beers, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I only brought six. Only six. And I drank them all. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I, you were the only one drinking, right? I was. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if I drink six beers, like, y'all probably might not see me for a day or two. Well, I'm just sitting there like, Fun Ross, fact. Ross, have a good time. I was the only non-family member there. Really? Right, yeah. yeah. Wow. Uncle Ross? It was the Tremblies and Ross. Yeah. Showed That's up. some hate you have. Watch oh, a little bit Skillmans, of the game. The Skillmans were there, and well, whatever your mom's name they're, is. They're related. Yeah. yeah, still family. Yeah. uh It was real small. Danielle texted me earlier in the week. She was like, the Abbeys won't be there. They have COVID. Uh, so I don't feel obligated to come. I'm like, we already bought a gift, so I have to come. Uh, <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, bouncy house in the dining room. In the dining room. It's a good place for it. Yeah. Cake with like four inches of icing on it. Yes. This unicorn cake had some fucking icing. I've seen the picture. That was pretty yeah, crafty. Yeah, the mane on it like was fucking in. Somebody was an artist that did yeah. that. That wasn't was, just. That it was wasn't Tyler's a, mom. Was it really? Yeah. She really? Bakes the cakes. Yeah, I, said, I told. Uh, I told. You know for a fact. I don't she know if yeah. she did that one. Oh, that's what. Uh, Daniel, Daniel might said. have said she, she did. She don't. I, I said compliments to the chef. She's like, it was Tyler's mom. That's where her mom. That's where his mom works. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Like, every time we get a cake or something, she's like, I'll be walking into the store, and she's like, did you get the cake? And I'm like, or she's like, get the cookies or whatever Daniel ordered, and I'm like. Did she make those badass cookies at the Christmas party, too? Yeah, the dipped uh, ones. Like, yeah, she's like, like, it was like uh, sandwich-style yeah. cakes. Yeah, she's like, don't forget the dip cookies, and I'm like, I didn't get any dip cookies. I'm picking up Daniel's cake. <laughs> Fun fact, and then your wife was, ordered cookies, too. And then she's like, she goes up there and looks for it, and then it. Daniel already picked him up. So uh, she's like, okay, cool. I just want to make sure you didn't forget him. And I'm like, all right. So nice. she knows more about my order, my family's Indeed orders than I do. I didn't even know that she had them. But mm-hmm. she ordered them and got them ahead. And she didn't know that I bought a cake for her. Uh, so like, You know the only thing that would have made that cake better? What, Tori's? Yeah. Real unicorn hair. Oh, no. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It may have been more bearable yeah, than the yeah. four and a half inches of icing. Yeah. It was too much for me. Really? Yeah. It was, I didn't it was eat her all. Thick, huh? I got like yeah. a piece with like... A low amount of icing on it. The bottom it half of the cake much. had normal icing. The top half had four and a half inches it of icing. Had, it had a lot of fucking icing. <laughs> so, of course, me and Skillman, we want all the icing. Wow. They give you a stomach ache. So, Not there's me. more icing than there was cake? Is that what you're telling uh, me? Oh, no. It was about a one-to-one. It was a <laughs> one-to-one ratio. 50-50. Thick. Yeah. Thick layer of icing. Thick. Thick. <laughs> Two C's. Two C's. But, yeah, she had a good birthday party. That's awesome, man. She only turns five once, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. Kind of felt bad. She didn't have any friends over. 
It's kind of our fault. Just like her mother. She has no <laughs> friends. <laughs> no, well, she has friends. It's just her mother doesn't, so she doesn't realize that how important it is to have her friends over. It is. Friends are very important. Well, just like your wife, I've never met your daughter's friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got Your some, daughter's friends are y- your friends. <laughs> she's got some jujitsu friends. She's got some friends in school. Um, she's young. She's still got time to make some yeah. good friends. No, but it, she's like, none of my friends are coming to my party. Like. No, well, that's because we did a piss poor job of planning. Because <laughs> your friends don't like you. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, that was weird. It was on a Sunday. There'll be there'll be other opportunities because she'll what? She'll start kindergarten next year. Yeah. So she'll get some classmates, hopefully, and then you know, they'll, they'll kind of go through school together. Now that I know that she realizes that, yeah. it'll be a bigger deal. Like I'll make sure yeah. she has friends. Absolutely. Even if you got to order some on Amazon, like. <laughs> Well, like if we would actually, still, still drinking beer. If there's people, if we'd actually kids, planned it, I have yeah. friends that they've had, they got kids and they've hung out. Yeah, who knows? Time, I so might have a kid by next year. So South I mean, could brought his kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like South, mm-hmm. like there's other people that have kids that they she's hung out with. It's just we didn't. It was a last minute birthday party. Yeah, I mean she had her brother there. He's a kid. There was kids there. Terry Bradshaw was there <laughs> while Terry Bradshaw was on for TV. Real. For <laughs> Halloween this year, you got to put him in a Steelers. Bro, he, might, he might be different by Halloween, though. He's still going to have that hair by yeah. him. Yeah. It's he's, only got ten. Some, he's got some locks already, here's man. A, here's, a fun, here's a fun fact. Halloween's only ten months away. Yeah, yeah. he's going to have a top head by then. i got to start thinking about yeah, my Halloween know. costume. Cul-de-sac, for sure. No, he doesn't have the cul-de-sac. <laughs> bad. i got to start thinking about my costume. For Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> Ten months, like you said, we're ten months away. I start, I gotta start thinking about it. Mm. <laughs> Sleepy Joe, baby. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> You've been Trump oh. before. You I was be Trump like Joe. three years too early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were Trump before he was president. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something you could be, man. I don't remember what it was last year. You can be anything you want to be. This is America. You can be Hunter Biden. You could be Cleeter McLaurin. And you could be my best friend. Uh, <laughs> you can be my uh, best what's friend. his name? The guy from Fox News. Tucker Carlson. Yes. <laughs> Tarker, Tarker Carlson. Tarker. Tarker Carlson. <laughs> Tarker Carlson. I don't know. I always think about good ideas afterwards. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, that'd be good for next year. And I never remember what they are. Man. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same way. Jeez. Oh, like, like this year, I didn't even think about me. it. And then we get to the Christmas part or the Halloween party. We're like, nobody was the fucking Island Boys. Uh, oh, that would have been a good one. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'll pass on them. Yeah, they were like a. Why you? you know, all you had to situation. do is put the face tattoos on. No, I ain't even boys near them. No. Yeah, and then do some like. Oh, I seen some people. You, they took you had the, a pool you could hung out in. They took the uh, the toilet paper rolls and stuck in their hair. Yeah, I saw that. For, yeah, <laughs> for the island boys. I don't remember what I was for Halloween. I didn't. Ha- I didn't do any parties last year, because I think that was my birthday, and I think Skillman's had a party. Yeah. And I ended up doing stuff with the fam. I was oh, an old birthday. lady. I was a referee. I, cheaped, I, I was a birthday boy. I cheaped out. I wore the the stuff I wore the night before. Hey, no, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, we did a little something at work. We, we dressed up like some, some old people. But other than that, it's pretty low key. Yeah. Um, I am. Here's your official invite. There's going to be a blowout extravaganza in the month of May at my barn for. I've already got the invite yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, they're ahead of it. I don't know because my family normally goes to the beach. That time of year. Fuck your family. Hey, my dad only retires once. Yeah. You hate hanging out with your family every year. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I That's actually like going yeah. to the beach. You go there for a week. You can go to one Michael's for one day. Nah, I get it though. Now he day. I didn't we'll realize see. it was the same month. I don't know if it's the same time this year though. I don't know what they're. Well, playing it's a timeshare. I'm pretty sure it's the it's same. It's early time. enough to back. Out. It's early enough to back out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna be raining then. Like. I thought you were going to say the Daytona 500. <laughs> mm, that's a strong chance for that. that that's happened. like three weeks away? Yeah, and I'd planned on, you know, having a little get-together for that because, you know, my house should be done. We can <laughs> move the, change, we can move the island. <laughs> we can move the island. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need y'all island boys. If I take more time off. And we can rehang the I TVs could, for you while we're I there. I can just show up to the beach later. <laughs> no, TVs are up. Well, we walk in, hand everybody a paintbrush and give what? them a designated area. All my paintings done. Oh. Well, hand them a ha- tack hammer or base or something. Hey, Tack in that baseboard over there. I'm going to put a broom in y'all's hand. I need shit clean, man. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out on that, he said. <laughs> That's why I still left to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't want to clean until it's all yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, it should be it should be a lot more room for hosting and entertaining, though. Like, you, you won't be, like, crammed up in the kitchen there trying to get you some tacos and dip. There's plenty of room. <laughs> that There's wall is room. gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. 
Uh, yep. a completely different house. It is. Y'all ain't going to recognize it, man. I don't know if I want to come to your house now that you swapped out your mailbox. That mailbox has been there for years now. I've, I don't know if I've been there since you put the reinforced, the reinforced fucking concrete mailbox. Has it been that long? I, I, I prefer the rubberized one that I could take it's out the side while. of my car. I, well, <laughs> Well, you never hit my mailbox. Oh, the you hit the neighbor. Somebody, oh, somebody else hit that mailbox. Oh yeah. Yeah. Somebody was in the neighborhood. Oh good. It wasn't me, just me then. Yeah. Somebody was in the neighborhood and they were cleaning out somebody else's pond. Well, they like, well, other people got ponds. I'm just gonna pull in there and see if we can get some business, which is smart on their part. Hey, if you want to do it for free, clean out my pond. So this lady rolls up and she had one of those fupas, and but she had like some Daisy Duke shorts on. Oh yeah. But the problem was her fupa was so big that she forgot to zip her zipper up. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like trying to like entertain her business pitch, <laughs> and it kind of looked like Joe Dirt's sister, but Joan Dirt, Joan Dirt, <laughs> but she's driving like a Dodge truck with some nuts hanging off the back. And she backed out of the drive and straight ass mowed over that mailbox across the street <laughs> and drove off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. At least I. That's a bad spot. At least is. I have the decency like, to get out and look at it and say, yep, mailbox is fine. You would but there's think, a black scuff down my you car. You would think that common sense would be like, okay. This mailbox has been hit multiple times. Let's put it on the other side of the drive so whenever yeah. the other people back out, they can't hit it. Nope. Let's put it right back in the same exact yeah. spot. And, and and if they would move it to the other side of the driveway, they could pull up there to their car and then pull in the driveway. Now they got to pull up, back up, and pull in the driveway. Like, I just don't understand the logic. No. Nope. Like, whatever. They ain't mine. I ain't got to do right, it. Right. I still have, like, the, the small indentions in the side of my car from it. Yeah, well, uh, luckily the, the the scuff buffed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we buffed it out with a t-shirt. Yeah. I think yeah. in together. the in the middle of the road. <laughs> like, oh fuck! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just have a few little dents. Well, I think it's the first time Ross came over. Like, hey, welcome to the property. Yeah, <laughs> it was Memorial Day. Yeah, or Labor Day. It was one, one of the days. One or, one it was days. a holiday that Weren't we had. Were we drinking that day? Of yeah. course. We were <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that the same day I like jumped in the pond or no? I think I had. I know. We started at JJ's house and I. I didn't realize that I swam in this yeah. pool all day with my car key in my pocket. It was uh, memo- car key still works. Yeah, it was Memorial Day because yeah. we watched the Coke 600 race. Yep. On a TV this fucking big on rabbit ears. Yep. Oh, and then we played uh, basketball slash wrestling. In yeah, the pool. in the pool. Yeah, we yeah. had a we had a swimming swimming adventure. Yeah. That was a good day. That was a good day. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you're right. I need to start planning for Daytona 500. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's the first mm-hmm. weekend of February. It's usually the second, like it's Ron yeah. Valentine's Day. 24 hours of Daytona is next weekend. Already? Yeah. Motorsports. Can't wait. Super, I, like they're smart. They start with their Super Bowl at the beginning of the year. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I try to watch as much as the 24 hours of Daytona as I can. Have you ever watched the full 24? I haven't. No? No. Wow. I probably watched 18 hours? of it. 18, 18 hours 18. of 24? Yeah. What did you do with the other six? Slept. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Slept in my bed. Can't believe you didn't With make. the TV on with it blank. I've watched zero hours of 24. You're missing out, dude. <laughs> I don't think so, man. We should nah. get tickets to the day, 24 hours of Daytona and hang out there. It's a giant Ferris wheel. I think it'd be cool hanging out and yeah. actually being there, but to sit there and just watch that much racing. That's 24 lot. hours. It's intense, man. It's, it's Shit's intense. <laughs> I don't know. Shit's intense. I like a little bit of racing, not a lot of racing. I can barely watch a 500-mile race. Now. I pass like, the yeah. fuck out, man. I watch the Daytona 500. I watch the start, f- take a nap, wake up for the end. You pass out yeah. at any occasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. Yep. <laughs> nap time. I tried to stay up at Tori's birthday party. Still yeah, it's not an official occasion until John <laughs> falls asleep on the couch. We're watching the Bucks game, and I just like yeah. yeah. I look over. John's sitting in the couch, like. Like your dad was on one side of you, your mom was on the other side of you, and there's John in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> with his head, looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> I wasn't out, out though. It all catches up to you, man. You need some sleep. Yeah. You take advantage when people are watching your kids. Yeah, you, you take you take an opportunity the time you don't have to worry about them. Fuck. I just need to stop waking up so damn early, man. You're right about that. Fuck, dude. I'm up at like 4 or 5 o'clock every day. Yeah, fucking oh, like Danielle no. sending Snapchats like on 4 o'clock own. in the morning at the gym. I'm like, why? No. Well, why? She, dude, she fucking, dude, she woke up the other day and she like pretty much walked in the room to wake me up to let me know that Cameron's up and she's going to the gym. And it was like fucking, I don't even know what time it was. <laughs> like 4. Like It was like fucking uh, 4. Why? And I'm like. 
Oh, and then of course she like she like leaves, and then I get him to pass out on the recliner. But uh, I'm like, holy shit, man! Now we know why she wanted to have the Christmas party at like 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, well, that Snapchat, the Snapchat where she was like, he was up all night, and then he finally decided to go to sleep at five. Yeah, yeah it was yesterday. I'm the one that put his ass to sleep. Yeah. Ah. it's because she just lets him just walk around instead of like locking the bedroom door and making yeah. him lay down. If yeah. he ain't got nothing to do and he can't see anything, that's why I couldn't have kids. He's gonna come lay down. Yeah. That's why y'all were saying how like. Y'all got the bed and hit for him now, and oh now Tori God. still sleeps with y'all. I'm like, as we put fucking deadbolts on the doors, man, they'll learn to sleep in their bedroom. Mm, That's yeah. right. Well, Start putting handcuffs on their ankles. <laughs> yeah. Time Some people <laughs> might look at it as child abuse. I look at it as getting a full night of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they need a full night's birth yeah. of sleep, too. It's, 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 it's imperative to their, their development. It's just crazy that you're freaking two-year-old son has a fucking queen-size bed now. I'm like, God damn. That a boy. I didn't get yeah. a queen-size bed until I went to college. Yeah. It's because like, we're, we're sleeping in it. Yeah. Wow. This is like, I'm Cam, like, Cam got a new I'm, bed. I'm like, it's a I'm, fucking queen-size bed. Shit. Uh, it's like my dad, he was like uh, talking about his spare bedroom and he was wanting to get a new mattress or whatever and I'm like, you care if Why? We just, no one sleeps on it. I was like, it. you care if we just take the mattress? Like, I don't want to take anything else right now. I just need the mattress. Yeah, I don't need the box springs. <laughs> well, I took the box spring, but I did, I'd like the frame. Everything's still at his house. Well, yeah. This is a box <laughs> spring and a mat. Because if you put it too high, he's going to fall off. He'll fall off. Yeah. Or he's crawl underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's sitting yeah, on the floor. Yeah, put all his toys under there. Yeah. Nah. That's nah, smart. That's cool. And we know we're laying in there with him. So mm-hmm. it's there's no point of getting like a single is or that something. A, Something super small, and then I thought getting a, a bed that big was the first step in padding the entire room. Yeah, <laughs> might as well. Dude, have you ever seen like Shaquille O'Neal's bed? It's mad. It's like an uh, eight foot wide bed. It's not, no <laughs> joke. Yeah, it's like three normal. king size beds put together. I'm like, Jeez. that is awesome. How does he buy sheets for that thing? <laughs> you can just run down to the Kmart and get you some. Yeah. Queen, 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 or king, 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 king. Well, I mean, what kind of master Jeez. bedroom do you have to fit that motherfucker? A billionaire's master bedroom. Right. Like, you can't have a normal master with that shit. <laughs> Like yeah, their little queen, their queen takes up like half the room. Yeah, you what. <laughs> yeah, kids. Uh, <coughs> normal bedrooms aren't most to have that big no. of a bed. If I had a master bedroom, no room for shit. If I had a master bedroom that big and a bed that big, you know what I would call that? The master baiter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What are you baiting in there? I don't know yet. <laughs> Whatever makes it in here. He's baiting them to get in there. Or are you debating in there? Mass debating. Mass. Yeah, I'm mass debating. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, like, there's you're, a lot of debating. There's a lot of there. debating going in there. <laughs> well, we like to call this a mass debate. <laughs> Stay out of there unless you're a master. <laughs> yeah. You put your ear up to Micah's door and you hear. Yep. We're gonna. How hold- do you think our president is doing right now? <laughs> what are your views? I'm like, what the fuck is going? Oh, they're mass debating. So if they have a town hall <laughs> meeting in Massachusetts, that's a mass debate. It is. It is. Yeah, it's a mass debate on two different levels because yeah. they're in Massachusetts. Yep. Mm. Yep. I feel like we're getting dumber. Well, I do believe so. As as more brain cells voluntarily die daily, I'm you pretty think sure. Did you kill that Ross or no? Mike said he wanted some. I just wanted a sip. I don't want the whole <laughs> thing. Like, I just <laughs> just leave me one swallow at the just bottom. A, just a tickle. I want to see if it'll I'll get. I'll take another swig. Of I want to see yeah. if it'll get my nipples hard and my goosebumps going. Is that what it's called? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I said. That's a lot for me. I don't. Yeah, well, that's that's too much. I don't want a fucking half a drink. I'm still drinking. I'm over here drinking the lights, man. Miller lights. It's that rosé. Fermented. Fermented. <laughs> but do you get goosebumps cool. and your nipples get hard? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I don't know. Let's well, that's that's it. Didn't give it to me. Let I'll me tell you what. One. I'll give my my. Y'all already gave away your gut reaction the first time that you took a sip of this, and that was Johnny's. Ross, you know, he was kind of like, oh, soupy. there it is, goosebumps and nipples. <laughs> <are hard. laughs> that's uh, like a second sip, brother. <laughs> Got me. All right. So this is like the taste test here. I'm a little nervous because I'm pretty sensitive to all things foreign. It's nothing major. It's nothing major. It tastes good. Okay. <sighs> but I do get goosebumps so when my nipples get hard. You go to drink a little wine and give it a little sniff taste. You give it a little. Wow. It smells like vinegar. <laughs> it's not. I'm scared to drink that. No. Dude, mm. look at how excited I am right it now. It does not smell like vinegar. <laughs> That's what excitement looks like? Goosebumps? Well, don't look below my waist. I'm just kidding. All right. 
Here it goes. All right. We're going to sample this blueberry rosé farm fresh wine from the Keelan Curly Winery. Whew. All right. Just 12, a tickle. 12%. To the dough. To the dough. No, I ain't doing it all. Do it all. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Do you have goosebumps in your nipple start? <laughs> oh. It's not that bad. It's it not. looks like he's suffering from paralysis. <laughs> oh. His fucking wrists turned in, and they're, they're going up to his chest, and his like, elbows were turned out at 90. I'm like, oh, he's, he's, he's got paralysis. He's going paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going full retard. No, you can't say that, John. Fuck. I said, oh, that shit. Nice. <laughs> I said, oh. We almost nah. made it the whole podcast without fucking John <laughs> saying something. I'm sorry. It's from Tropic Thunder, man. I'm you sorry. You never go full redone. Yeah, and the guy also went blackface in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that movie. Not, that that's movie, not okay. That movie, in the early 2000s, it may have been. <laughs> fucking Robert, Robert Downey's hilarious. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> he goes I'm the, just a dude playing a dude trying to be another dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so funny. <laughs> Need to watch some of them old movies. Oh though, yeah, man. hell yeah! Oh, I love yeah. the racial humor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. Oh man! Like there's just people can't like, dude. There's so many comedics. Life is <laughs> life is one big joke anyway. Yeah, yeah. look at my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, why do we take anything serious? Like, motherfucker, had that shit come out my nose. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me goosebumps, just come out of my nose, my nipples got hurt. <laughs> All right, if I had to drink NyQuil or that, I'd probably choose NyQuil. Oh, NyQuil ain't gross. that bad. It ain't that great. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's not really that chilled either. Like ours that got, might be the ours problem. Is on ice. Yeah, that might be the problem. It needs a little ice to spice it up. Scratch it up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, damn. Got fleas. Got fleas. Damn. Damn. Mm. Get him some trifexes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. That shit will make you have a seizure, man. <laughs> I get my dog's uh, Brave Ecto. Brave Ecto? Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's I like get... a three-month supply of allergy shit. It's like a meaty tablet. Yeah. It's like $59 each. Jeez. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what our dogs get. They get all kinds of shit. Cookies, cake, chicken fingers, steak, french fries, bread, nope. whatever nope. we're eating. Can't believe they don't have diabetes yet. Like, as much shit, you know. Our they dogs do. get whatever the kids give them, pretty much. <laughs> Crayons. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't eggs. feed them scraps, but they, like, we have to get on the kid. Like, yeah, we my dogs don't have. Cameron, trying to Cameron will eat, like, a gummy and then just try to hand them the dog. Oh, well, like, he's sharing. Stop, That's stop, good. Man, no. The only people food my dogs eat. He doesn't, Canada doesn't get people food, but whenever I get like McDonald's, I'll give Luda some McNuggets, one or two of my 10 piece. Wow, like an actual whole nugget? Yeah. Wow. Like one or two of them. Not just like a sliver of a nugget. You get the no, whole he, nugget. He gets Dipped the whole. in sauce? Huh? Sauce? No. No sauce? But fun fact, I don't give him like, you know how you have the boot nugget? He had the round nugget. Oh, you're not getting the boot. He didn't know, because the boot ones, the, I don't give him the ones that fit in the sauce pack. It's perfect. Right. I give him the round ones. Oh. Yeah, because those aren't... Easily dunkable like the other ones are. Well, if you take a bite out of them, you can dunk them however you want. Wait, but I want a full you want, sauce. You put sensation. a whole, you put a whole nugget in your mouth. No. Okay. But I want to be able to put the I whole will. nugget in the sauce. Oh. Full nugget fuck. sensation. Mm. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. My dog puts the whole nugget in his mouth. I will. I won't give my dogs the scraps unless like I'm completely done. Yeah, yeah I've never. I never give them the table scraps. Mm. But like you, well. You fucking just cut. You gave him nuggets. Like I said, the only time, only human food that one my dog yeah. Luda eats is if I have McDonald's, I'll give him a nugget or two. Yeah. I wouldn't give him a whole nugget, maybe a half nugget. Damn. Or if I'm completely full and I was gonna throw it away, then I would. Give yeah, him that's. Why I'm not gonna eat all ten of them. That's why. Daniel will fucking one or two. just load their bowls up and shit, and I'm like, what? That's, what the fuck? Yeah, you wonder why Jenny shits in the house. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got the old doogie belly. Yeah. Empty the fridge and I'm like, ho ho ho. Oh. Fuck my dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Like, and next oh. you know, you smell yeah, your dog like, farting at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm like, You hear Jenny in the corner. When she, when she does that shit, I'm like, I'm not cleaning up if they no. shit the house. I'm, no. not, I'm not fucking with it. You did that. <laughs> like, if they shit the house. And also, <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not feeding a family of 36. Why do you have so many scraps? Oh, oh my God. 
sometimes you get leftovers whenever she's like cooking for multiple people or we're doing something. You get leftovers sometimes. No, nope, our dogs eat it right off the fork. Hell no. It's crazy. Hell nope. fucking no. About bust the tooth out and everything, man. My dogs don't, don't know what they're missing. That's true. If you never had it, you don't know yeah. what you're missing. No, nope. he acts like he, he's <laughs> had it before. Like every time I eat, he's trying to get to the damn uh, plate and all that, and, like sniffing at it. Get the fuck out of here! But he's never had any table scraps. <laughs> yeah, he has it. He'll just he's sitting there, he's stuck next to you, mm-hmm. waiting for you to drop something. Yeah, stuck like glue. Oh man! Yeah, my Atlanta. You know, I don't <laughs> think I ever said what today's date was to start our show. What is today's date? Today is Jan twenty twenty two. God damn! I already did my taxes. Did you really? Yeah. How much are you getting back? Nineteen hundred dollars. What the fudge, yeah. man? So I'm gonna buy a new bumper for my car and pay off debt. How do you get yeah. so much back? So I have them take out the max. So you claim zero for your allowances. I don't remember. That's probably whatever the one where they take the most taxes out. That's why I marked as single. I'm yeah, I'm single, but I take out one allowance. Yeah. So he probably does zero. Yeah. yeah. I do. I do like a because I I could do it so I could break even when when taxes and all that. Yeah. But I do it so I get money back. So it gives you money to do something at yeah. the. You're like, well, you're giving the government a free loan. You should Man, just take that getting, money every paycheck this. and put it away yourself. They're getting whatever they're going to yeah. get regardless. If I got to put it away myself, I'll never put it it's away. Just when you decide right. to take it, you'll yeah. spend it on something. Yeah. yeah. That's why I look at it. It's like they're going to get what they get. Yeah. I do it so I have just enough to pay my HOA fee every year. That's where my tax money goes. I do it so I get money back so I could do something like around the house or. Well, I got kids. Do one big project, so this year I'm paying off some debt, some credit card I debt. I got and kids, stuff. so I'm going to get some money back. For you sure. didn't do the, uh, yeah. the, um, the child credit thing? Yeah, a lot of people did that. Not We opted out. Yeah. I think my brother did like, the first one and opted out the rest. Because you're getting your money then instead of later. Yeah. Right, it's just an advance. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's the not, advance of your child credit that you I'm get like, on your normal taxes. Nah. If you didn't need it, then... I don't need the government's money. Yeah, people, no. people, kids thought it was I don't, like well, a, I don't need, here's, here's, I don't need my money back from the government that bad. Well, a lot of people I was say it's your money. It's yeah, not the it's government's yeah. money. Yeah, people yeah, thought yeah. it was the government Fucking giving just idiot. the the parents more stimulus. Like, no, they're just giving no. you your money ahead yeah. of time. Exactly. Yeah. Just like on your our paychecks, we started getting a little bit more, but it's because we're paying less in, so you get less back at the end of the year. Yeah. So they. But it just pisses me off, man. That's how you know you're getting old when you really start like figuring out how bad they stick it right in your butthole on income tax, sales tax, property tax, fucking drug tax. Like you but really only get to keep about fifty percent of your actually earned wages. We left England to get away from the st- taxing. To get more tax. We even had a tea party over this uh, yeah. shit. Yeah, and then we're back to like, our st- 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 tasting, the tasting, just like uh, statistics. Yes, we went, got away from England for the st- st- tasting. <laughs> well, our income tax is like thirty percent. They take away from us, them suckers yeah. of cock. And then you know you go and you want to go buy something. Oh, you got seven percent sales tax on that. But it's going to fix the roads. Fuck the yeah. roads. Just like my, uh, just like the lottery money. Go towards the schools and all that, but the teachers are are paid like shit and all that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because you do the lottery, they make so much fucking money off that shit. To oh, where the yeah. Teachers oh can, yeah. The teachers can be paid well. They could. It's just people got deep pockets. I need to start green. paying the, playing the lotto. Yeah. Yeah, to help the kids. Yeah. Trick loves kids. Mm. That's mm. what we should do. It's frustrating. Yep. Very frustrating. <sighs> Guess I'll be part of the bandwagon. Uh, should we wrap this thing up? That's what it sounds like. I reckon. I got a half day journey back to the house. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Most can, days it does. I can yeah. probably walk home faster than you could drive home. I haven't made it. Today was the first time I made it to my house before 1030. And I was only home for like 30 minutes, but. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey. Get out of my lap. Ross, how long does it take you to walk to the elementary school? What? Uh, you talking about when I, do, when I used to do my walking? Yeah. Uh, about 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, I'd be home before you get to home. You probably would. If I was to walk, walk from I here? would meet you. Yeah. If I was, I was to run, yeah. I'd definitely meet you because it wouldn't take me long. Yeah, no, you definitely would. Especially if I cut through Duff. No, that's a true statement. I would just... 
actually. Because yeah. I go, I'd probably say my average speed from here to yeah. there is 55, 60 mile an hour. Your house? Fair? Yeah. That's slow, man. I should start Well, you have stops more. and starts, and you can oh, only yeah, go 35 yeah. down. You're right. Yeah, down more road, I'd go like, or not more road, down <laughs> rock road, I'd go like 80 miles That's an hour. That's what I'm saying. My average speed is probably 55, yeah. 60 mile an hour. You think I'll get pulled over if I drove my golf cart over here? I mean, it's street legal other than Yeah, sidewalks the whole way here? Uh, yeah, I think so. So if I'm averaging yeah, fine, 60 mile an hour and it takes me 20 minutes, that means it's about 20 miles, but it's not that far. I think it's only about 11 or 12 miles. Yeah, you just have a bunch of red lights you got to hit. Uh, yeah, just the one at Duff Road. And then a few down 98. Oh, yeah, you're right. You got one... Oh, one air at Wilder, Two, Banana. Three of them down 98. You got Rock Ridge and Banana. <laughs> He's like, stop resisting. Give him the, come over here. I'll, give put your the elbow. The I'll put your head in the table, boy. Well, hell. Another episode. Yeah. In the butt. In the butt? No. <laughs> How about new? How about new? <laughs> There's just some things that were meant for one-way streets. What the fuck is he licking? licking the table. He's trying to lick my hand. Oh. Alright, well, I guess we'll see you. Oh, that was his tail then. I thought it was yeah. his head and trying to lick something. Oh. We'll see y'all next week. Okay. Maybe. See well, you. Yeah, Peace. we'll see you.